Hi everybody, this is Mick. I am the executive director of Thrive Gulu, and today is Human Rights Day. Now, did you know that there are 30 rights that are spelled out in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that was drafted by the United Nations? Thrive Gulu is doing some spectacular work to address many of these human rights violations. And today I'd like to just tell you about one of the areas that we're working in, and that is the support we're providing to young girls. Now, during the Lord's Resistance Army War that took place for over 20 years, one of the characteristics of that war was that the LRA abducted 20,000 young girls to serve as child brides and child mothers. Now, these young girls were subjected to torture and slavery, both of which are fundamental violations of their human rights. Now, unfortunately, when these young girls finally were able to return home, they returned to a place where there was abject poverty, where there was lack of education and lack of opportunities, and there were many social ills, one of which was uh, or is teenage pregnancy. I've done a little bit of Google search, and what I learned is that in Massachusetts, where I sit today, the rate of teenage pregnancy is 0.72%, and that nationwide, the rate of pregnancy is 1.7%. This is for girls aged 15 to 19. Now, by contrast, in northern Uganda, the teenage pregnancy rate is 34%, and 25% of girls are getting pregnant and having babies before the age of 15. Another social ill that we face is child marriage. Child marriage is practiced uh, around the globe, unfortunately. It is widespread in Bangladesh, in Mali, in, uh, in, even in India. But in Northern Uganda, 59% of young girls are married before the age of 18. One of the other uh, human rights that is spelled out in the Universal Declaration is the right to marry who you choose and the right to have a family when you wish. These young girls in Northern Uganda are being deprived of that on a widespread basis. This is child abuse. Uh, both child marriage and teenage pregnancy are forms of child abuse. They are having a, a terrible uh, impact on these young girls' health, on their education, and on their future opportunities. Um, another universal human right is the right to education, and these girls are being forced to drop out of school. Now, I firmly believe, personally, that human rights is something that we should, uh, that we should teach widely here in the United States, everywhere. Uh, we should begin when children are young. We should teach it in schools. Uh, we ourselves as adults should, uh, should continuously educate ourselves. And why should we do that? We should do that because we can do something. Thrive Gulu is doing something. We're making a difference. Every day we're out there in the field and we're fighting against human rights violations. You can help us. You can make a difference too. You can stand alongside us and together we can join this fight and we'll be stronger together. Please consider making a donation to us today so that we can continue our programs, so that we can expand our programs, and so that we can truly bring human rights to everyone in northern Uganda. I want to thank all of you for your support, for believing in us. I want to wish you a very joyous and safe and healthy uh, winter time, and we will catch you next time. Thank you.